in this video i'm going to show you how to make a very simple thank you wedding card like this in photoshop and this is coming up <laughs> Hi everybody, Innocent here. Welcome to the channel over here. We make videos like this. If that is something that sounds like you're interested, kindly consider subscribing. Inside the description of this video will be a link to download all the resources that I'll be using. You can download and practice. And in case you practice and you want to show it up to me, you can reach out on Instagram, Twitter, or TikTok. Now, let's get into Photoshop. First off, you're going to create a canvas. To do that, you press Ctrl N and then it is going to launch this for you now depending on the size that you're going to use you can choose any one of these but we are going to go for the print section and then you are going to go for a5 afterwards you come to the orientation over here and you make sure that orientation is set to landscape the resolution is 300 and you can click on create i had told you in the very beginning this is going to be very simple you just use the picture with some flowers and just the test so the first thing you're going to do is you're going to bring in the flowers that is going to serve as the background so i got colors that matches with the colors that the couples used in their wedding so if it is green you can get something similar so we go to file place embedded and then you can bring in our flowers so i got two of these you can use any one of them but this worked very well for me i'm going to right click and flip it clockwise right click again and flip it horizontal so that it comes like this and then i can position it on the top part over here i can use the transformation controls and open it up slightly like that push it here i'll double click on it and we are good so i'm going to double click on the long name over here put any other name on it right click and rasterize it and then i can add a layer mask to it i choose my brush tool and i'm going to paint off the part that i don't need so I'll just make sure my foreground color is black and then I can start painting like that. Once I'm done with this, I can press Ctrl J to make a duplicate. I'll choose my move tool and then I'll drag it down like that. But we don't want it like this. So you press Ctrl T, you right click and then you can flip this vertical. So you're going to have it underneath as well like this and then you can push it up slightly. You can as well do the same thing for this one. So something like that should be fine. The next thing we're going to bring in is the image. So on top of this, we go to file, place embedded, and then we can bring our image. So you double click on the image and then you are going to bring it over here. So you realize that the colors over here matches exactly with the colors that I used over here. Just that these ones are a bit fainted, but then you just have to pick colors that matches with this one. These are the actual colors that I'm talking about, the ones they are wearing. Not the ones that you've used in decorating the flowers. Once this is in, you can bring it to the right side a little bit. You press Ctrl T and then you can transform it. Provided your picture was worked on by your photographer, you wouldn't have to spend much time over here. You just have to bring it in and then just add your test and you are good to go. But this wasn't worked on that much. So let me just try to be a photographer over here and work on this image a little bit. And you are going to do this using the camera raw filters. So we go to filter and then camera raw filter is over here and then we click on it. Okay. So now we can zoom in a little bit over here and we can also use the zoom over here to zoom in some more. So let's go like 200 so that we get the picture. The picture is the main focus over here. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to apply some shadows. You know, there are some shadows on the faces. So we are going to open the shadows a little bit like that. So you can see how it's actually going, right? So depending on the picture that you're working on, you can decide to open the shadows some more or not. Okay. And then we can increase the contrast a little bit so that though we've opened the shadows, it brings some sort of more shadows on the face. These are the two things that we're going to touch over here. Aside that, we're going to make sure that the image is clearer so we can decrease the clarity a little bit so that it brightens the face. So you realize that the more you open or the more you make it clearer or you take it to the left side, it starts to over get overexposed. Okay. So you can keep it somewhere around here. This place is fine. And then of course, we're going to add a bit of vibrance to it. In one of my previous videos, I discussed the difference between vibrance and saturation, but you realize that, let me just quickly take you through. If you open saturation, the entire image is getting saturated, which makes the image something else so instead of that 
we are going to use the vibrance to add a little bit of color so it adds color to almost every part of the image like that and we're done with the basic parts so let's go to the details over here or the detail and let's increase the sharpen a little bit since we added a bit of clarity to it let's sharpen it some more so that the face doesn't look so smooth all right so now we have this you can as well go to color grading and add a bit of color grading to it depending but this looks good for me but if you want to add some color grading to it as well you can also color grade it it depends you can just play around you can go somewhere around here like that it depends on the tones or the colors that you want to have but i think this one looks fine for me so i'm just going to maintain this one and once i'm done i can then go ahead and click ok now if i zoom in over here and then i undo it we moved from this to that you know a lot of life has come into the image from there we can right click and rasterize the layer we can press ctrl l and add a bit of levels to it as well so that it brightens some more and it matches almost with the background that we are using over here so we can increase or bring this side as well a little bit so we moved from this to this okay so there is a lot of brightness and a lot of life in the image now now if you zoom out and it goes way back you can still see the faces and it looks way beautiful now and once you're done with this on top of the backgrounds that we brought in we are just going to bring our thank you this can be a font but i decided to go for something that has already been made there are times you don't need to really stress yourself like that so i went to pngwing.com and then i got this particular thank you png test that has already been done i don't need to really work more on this so i'm going to push it up on top here press ctrl t and transform it nicely like that and then i can bring it somewhere around here so right over here we'll be fine and the more reason why i got this particular png test was that i was trying to get a font that would give me something similar like this but i wasn't finding one and you know i can't just come and stress myself so i'm going to right click and rasterize this right click again and go to the blending options and remember the colors that we are dealing with so i go to gradient overlay and then i'm going to choose a gradient so i'll click on my gradient bar and choose this gradient right over here so you realize it matches with the color that we're using so this is the first color in case you want to use the same thing and this is the other color in case you want to use the same thing as well once you're done you can go ahead and click ok and then ok from here and one more okay and once you're done with this it is time to write your own english so you can just put your head together with your husband and then come up with this english so for that you're going to use the font uh, favorite on this channel poppins and then we are going to type this beautiful english over there this beautiful but simple english okay you don't need to make it that very hard so very simple like that and then you can position it right over here afterwards you go back to your thank you hold alt and then you drag your effects onto the test that you just made and then it copies the effect onto it after that we're going to make a duplicate by pressing ctrl j drag it down over here and then we are going to change it to your family name so in this case we are going to type the adams and then you can select all of that and then we can make it a bit bold or semi bold over here and then you can check done over here and done right over there now we can group the adams the test that we did and then the thank you png we group all of them so ctrl g to group that depending on the image you are using you can also open this up a little bit so let's try to open up our image so that the couple can become a little bit bigger and this is going to cover our end so we can add a layer max to this choose our brush tool and then we can decrease it by using the left square bracket and then just clear this part okay so that the end can show right over there since it's blending with the background this is fine and one more thing we can add a bit of life to the flowers over here they look a bit dull so let's go right on top of the two let's go to the layer adjustment fill and add hue and saturation to it and this time around we want some more life into it so we are going to use saturation so we saturate it a bit so that life comes inside of it <laughs> and then on top of that and then the thank you if you are using a different color or if the couple chose a different color you can add a hue and saturation to it so that you can easily switch the colors so you make sure that it doesn't affect the image that is why we have the image on top 
so we are going to add a hue and saturation right on top of this and then if you play around with your hue and saturation you are going to get something like this so let's assume that they went for colors like this you can easily turn it on and replace your image and then if you come to the side you are going to have something like this something like that or you can come to the blues but in this case they chose the blue so you are going to turn this one off you are only going to use this in case they chose a different color and you want to match it up with it and just like that you create a very simple thank you wedding card for your wedding your ifro or your engagement you can do this simply or by yourself i'll be getting value out of this video if you did a subscribe to the channel will be so very much appreciated let me know in the comment section if you have any questions and remember that a link to download the resources to practice this will be in the description you can check that as well thank you so much for sticking around to watch this video i'll see you guys in the next video it's innocent here and bye